embarrassing moments. We've all had them. If you're a performer, you will know just how embarrassing it is when you have an embarrassing moment in front of an audience. Today, I'm going to share some of my performance fails. Let's get to it. The first story is called Beware by Plastic Flower. A few years ago, I was in a play called A Midsummer Night's Dream. And this play only ran for two nights, but it took months of practice. So the aim was that these two nights would go as smoothly as possible. And it was great. Until. There was this one scene where the ensemble ran around the main characters and tossed flowers at them. And that part went well. But afterwards, I noticed my friends giving me some funny looks. I looked around. Am I wearing the wrong costume? Am I wearing it backwards? No, it was all fine. But then I looked down and I did notice something strange. I was standing in a puddle of water. Water was not used as a prop in the play and the ceiling was not leaking and I hadn't been drooling. So where had this water come from? I lifted up my foot and to my horror, just a quick pause if you are squeamish, pause the video, skip a bit forward, you'll be good. And to my horror, there was a plastic flower, a spiky plastic flower. It hit me. I was not standing in a puddle of water. I was standing in a puddle of my own blood. That small, insignificant plastic flower had caused me to bleed all over the stage. I thought I was meant to be in a musical called A Midsummer Night's Dream, not a nightmare. Now, in any normal situation, you could call out for help, but I was on stage. I was bleeding on stage and I was wearing a microphone. So I did what any sane person would do. I hopped gracefully on one foot towards the curtains and hoped no one would notice. After I'd left the stage, they had to pause the play, turn the lights down and send on some poor soul to mop up my blood. So what can we learn from this fateful story? That flowers are evil? Yeah. But also, more importantly, wear shoes when you are performing. Just wear shoes. The next story is called Microphone of a War. What I'm about to tell you is humiliating. When I was in primary school, I was called up to be a singer during chapel. And I was delighted to get to sing in front of all of my friends and every single teacher in primary school. Little did I know that only a few hours later, I'd be wishing that less of my friends and less of my teachers had been there to witness the absolute chaos that was to occur. Because I was only in year five, I was paired up with another girl from my year to sing. And I was okay with this until I heard her sing. And I realized that she was very off key. Problem was there was only one mic. So how would the teachers decipher my beautiful singing voice from her very off key voice? I panicked. I had a reputation. I had made it to the primary school talent quest 
two times. So when we got up to sing, I decided that she was hogging the microphone. I thought that if I moved closer to the mic and gently nudged her out of the way, that the teachers could hear my beautiful voice a bit more. Surprisingly, my friend didn't like that idea, so she decided to also lean towards the mic and nudge me out of the way. So I had a brilliant idea. I thought if I hold the mic, I can bring it to a much better position. And my friend miraculously had the exact same idea, so she also leaned to grab the mic. I thought me and my friend were being subtle in our conflict, but apparently when you are at the front of a stage, in front of an audience, in the spotlight, what you think is subtle might actually not be that subtle. Me and my friend were having a complete mic fight in front of the entire primary school. It was embarrassing. And then after the chapel service, a teacher pulled us aside and got us in trouble. Not only had I not sung well, but I disappointed my teachers. Not a good day. So what is the moral of this story? Is it don't sing with people who are off key? No, it is not that. The obvious moral of this story is don't be prideful and respect those you work with. If an issue does occur or conflict arises, sort that out before you go on stage. Don't wait till you're in the limelight to sort out your problems. Because that won't end well.